Merci euh, thank you. beaucoup. Thank you everyone. Thank you all of those of you. So I have uh, attended almost all the presentations uh, on Thursday. Normally, I go uh, visit uh, well, the citizens uh, near Paris, and so I'd like to apologize for those who uh, the the roundtables that I have not been able to uh, follow. But I know you are recording the meeting, so I'll be able to see you on replay. Anyhow, I just wanted really to thank uh, uh, the Pierre Fab Foundation obviously uh, for their quality of the uh, meeting and also having uh, been able to gather so many people despite the uh, rules and also all the various channels uh, and so thanks to that we have been able to travel from Laos uh, to Togo if I'm not mistaken without forgetting Bali and so on. Anyhow, lots of countries that really, uh, and thanks to that, we have been able to really see, get hands-on uh, experience on what has been done in e-health. Uh, also innovation and so on. So I'd really like to thank also Beatrice Garrett for the organization, all the members of the board of directors of the foundation, uh, the minister, Mr. the minister also, so everyone who have been working at the Pierre Fab Foundation with whom we have been working, the also the project holders, without forgetting the speakers, the lecturers, and those who are connected. Uh, uh, at home or at the office. I hope I've not under, uh, left out anyone, but of course the award winners, I'd like to congratulate them. And so thanks to their wonderful work, we are able to really respond to the current uh, challenges and also being able to uh, really improve the day-to-day -day lives of our populations, improve also the day-to-day -day lives of those vulnerable. I'm delighted to be with you today uh, uh, for two reasons. The first one, I was able to travel. I miss airports. So it's a great opportunity to leave home, get a suitcase, and get on a flight. So it's great. Uh, and also having the opportunity to really uh, have a wealth of information of what is going on in innovation in health, what is supported, where innovation comes from. I can use it uh, maybe as a, uh, you know, as a, a deputy, as an economist. Uh, I'm also a kind of voice in order to modernize these uh, development policies, but also uh, to tell you where we stand in terms of uh, 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 you know, I'm sorry, I don't want to give a, give a very French French vision, but at least tell you where we stand today in France and where we want to where we want to go, where we're heading, uh, creating partnerships with you, I, uh, with the Pierre Fab Foundation, and also all of those who are partners. Now, this day is a clear, I would say. Um, synonym with um, cooperation. We saw the coronavirus crisis has more than ever uh, shown that vaccine, vaccine nationalism and insulation uh, being isolated and so cooperation is so important. So we should not be uh, isolated. And this is essential for our president, for our government, and it's also essential for foreign affairs policy. I don't want to uh, give you lots of figures, but uh, this year we have invested 800,000 million euros in this. Uh, so you know that in fall we have budget meetings and so this year we decided to uh, add 800 million euros to uh, uh, this uh, in order to face uh, global challenges, uh, major modern challenges. We really have to invest in that. And so ever since the beginning of the mandate of uh, Mr. Macron, over uh, several million euros have been invested in order to really 
be ready for the uh, challenges, and I'm thinking of agriculture, equality, uh, and we are convinced that through cooperation we are able to really finance uh, projects uh, at the heart of, uh, uh, of the field. That's how we will be able to solve modern challenges. Now, the COVID crisis has also shown that we have, uh, in fact, uh, we, we need to modernize. We need to also have a new storytelling with new methods. And you are the ones, uh, you are the voice. And it's always great to see new things. Uh, and so, therefore, we really needed to, to take more into account what we call citizen mobilization in the area of health, uh, having a more, uh, I would say, um, open uh, health and take into account health inequalities and having a real partnership, partnership policy, creating a, a kind of a driver and uh, uh, so in order to stop being insulated, whether it's nationalism, the attempting to stay on your own, so this uh, development policy, partnership policy was the best uh, response that we could give. And this ability to say what our values are and what we want for future generations. So we uh, started thinking about that way before the COVID. And uh, as Beatrice saw and showed that uh, even before the COVID, we have been able to contribute to the World Fund. Uh, contribution in France was plus 20% ever since we've had the COVID. We have kicked off the uh, Mass Health Plan over 1.3 2 billion euros that have uh, supported innovative uh, projects. Uh, also, people are in this room. The idea is to take up uh, the challenges of COVID. Now, the uh, French president has been uh, very uh, much uh, in favor of this cooperation, uh, what we call attack diagnosis uh, vaccine uh, uh, launched by the WHO and France uh, have contributed uh, to over 500 million euros to say that, yes, vaccines is a common good. And so no one has to be left on the side. And I know that the foundation wants to really push that study, a study that showed that if we had a nationalist uh, policy in terms of vaccine, then we wouldn't even have efficacy of the vaccine. So on the contrary, we had to have a wide or widespread cooperation, making sure that if we want to fight effectively, then that would work. So that is a proof uh, uh, via facts uh, that a partnership is the best way to go. And then we're also uh, looking at all the help and support by the parts, uh, partners. Uh, and I see that uh, uh, the minister is here, the World Bank, uh, WHO, and other institutions, uh, making sure also that nothing is, uh, uh, you know, really left uh, uh, behind continue to say that, yes, we have to solve problems together. It seems uh, really simple as ABC because that's what you do in your jobs. But in the case of international institutions, it's not always easy. It's not what people tend to want. And I'm thinking of uh, leaderships and so on. So what we're trying to do also is to, at least for this year and maybe future years with the partners, and to have a more political, strategic uh, image with this uh, partnership. Uh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do things that are only on paper at the AFD in Bercy and so on, but rather having a real fully fledged poli policy that is seen positively by our citizens. And that is also discussed. I think the renovation and revamping of this policy that has been really uh, expressed by what we said today, it's a new dimension. That is why in France we're going to have what we call an orientation and programming helps to make sure that at the heart of our legislation this policy is there. There's, of course, the EU dimension. 
In France, uh, we will have the new presidency 2022, helping development partnerships. Uh, and we see also Eastern countries. We see that it's not only relationships with Africa, with immigration and so on, whereas I find that there are other topics and not just immigration. So citizen dimension, I'm not going to go into the details because there are so many projects and I feel that this is very good to uh, really uh, open up uh, this uh, health policy. One of the vectors for France, one of the subjects where we want to go move forward. And then there's also uh, what we call an assessment side of things. And this is what we saw today and what has also been done by several players, the discussions that we've had. The question of uh, assessment, transparency, uh, this is essential. The idea is to transform the political uh, 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 projects and having more impact uh, in terms of partnership. And that's what we saw in Togo, in France, uh, Lebanon, and uh, Senegal, Laos. This is what we have to do as a decision making and making put more strength, transparency. This is also the um, a commitment for vision and efficacy, what we're trying to do. I'm also delighted to be here today. Why? Because we, well, I can speak of a subject that is important, that is to say innovation. Innovation, we see that even if it's a, a, a very, uh, I would say, generic word, but innovation is a way of responding to transitions well, demo transition uh, via uh, innovation, you can uh, solve some uh, demo pressures or demo changes. Uh, in France, uh, I come from Brittany. <laughs> And looking at, <laughs> and it's also an ad. <laughs> so innovation is not the um, magical word, but of course we have to have a partnership uh, in France. And we have to make sure that we will succeed the several transitions that we have uh, to face, demo, eco, and and the, the planet, and also that is why we really push our means and also a lot of project holders. <laughs> Making sure that France financing will be more dedicated to innovation, so we are able to do that, to really support our financing and also support innovation experimentation, and that has been well explained uh, earlier on on the question of testing innovation and also moving forward uh, to a higher scale. What France does, maybe not enough, whereas uh, the UK can uh, do this uh, nicely, so they have a government a department, sorry, that merged with the Foreign Affairs uh, uh, Department. But anyhow, in Europe, they they were holders, uh, they were pushing this innovation that was powerful and also that influenced also the uh, public policies, uh, World Bank and other, I would say, fundraisers. And so this, the uh, President of the Republic has been very determined, uh, making sure that at the heart of this French policy, the question of innovation, so it's innovation close to the field, close to the people having this uh, financing that finance the scaling up and the transformation in public policies because what is interesting is not to have uh, several projects here and there uh, that's innovation but the idea is that there's a it's really anchored in a public policy whether it is uh, swallowed if you like embedded by the states uh, by regions by uh, various uh, and that is transformed. So that is what we do. We are, have financed for this year over 1 billion euros of uh, you know donations to NGOs that are also uh, really pushing innovation. It's the first time that France does that with a 
the ASG, AFD, sorry, and then we went from 50 million euros to 70 million euros this year in 2020 for the very innovative projects that are among them and innovative uh, projects, whether you are in France, whether you work for an embassy, if you want to knock on the door of embassies and seeing also these projects, again, we've invested over 70 instead of 15. So we want the innovation, the field players can be really financed uh, and uh, could be supported. And then, of course, to support this type of innovation, we we don't need loans because that's what we tend to do. We had a partnership policy that rather lent money, lend, used to lend money rather than uh, gave money. And so that's why we find donations are nice. If we want innovation, it's often high risk projects. And if it's risky, of course, uh, uh, we need to uh, take that risk. And I think that this is we have to do it with donations, and that's why we're also having more bilateral relationship in France and financing these uh, experimental projects. These projects that also respond to local uh, projects. So we are working also, I think that someone has talked about this, so with the Nobel Prize winner Estelle Duflo to have the tools that are the most adapted to finance this innovation, impact assessment, having a return on what is done, and also learning curve, and uh, making the most on what is uh, has been done, and express this in a, what I call a dialogue of uh, public policy. And I'll conclude by saying, which I find very important because it's a take-home message, is that in a way innovation, technology, e-health and so on has only a benefit if it's serving public policies, uh, improving the uh, lives of everyone, education policy, health policy, uh, reduction of inequalities uh, among territories. And this is the challenge. This is our work that we need to do together, mm, having uh, a map where you have uh, scattered projects, maybe successful projects or tools that are successful but are not yet connected with uh, the states, with the uh, what we call public policy and also private, and transform these financing of e-health projects in real dialogue of public policy with partners to improve the health of partner countries and population. Also, this uh, feedback, because we have a lot to learn from what is done elsewhere, and they could learn from us. So, one of the key pillars, and uh, this is what we should be doing in France, uh, and uh, Jacques Gustin will be able to uh, testify this, is putting back some human touch to our policy expertise, uh, I wouldn't say cooperating, but often what we see in terms of our uh, partners is not just uh, financing, but rather human uh, touch, uh, training, a real dialogue with uh, the um, territories, because I would say this uh, triangle to really cover the question of innovation, technologies, and e-health. But again, around all this, uh, we need to have uh, the right financing. We need to have a good dialogue. And we need an expertise uh, cooperation, I would say. That's what we try to support with uh, the uh, decree that with uh, will, of course, have an expertise in France being able to really uh, move forward to have a tool in France for financing cooperation and also this ability to anticipate and maybe work with other countries, sharing everything that we know. So thank you very much. Uh, this is uh, my 
conclusion. I know I've gone beyond my uh, allocated time. Sorry for this. And so, of course, it was a great pleasure to uh, uh, be with you today. Innovation is, of course, the question of e-health. Uh, is uh, uh, to the wonderful challenges today, uh, the challenges of our tomorrow, so, and what we need to do, do together, and making sure that uh, the EU, France, all the fund uh, raisers, uh, all those who want to take part, uh, well, has to be, of course, uh, together, because what I see today are committed people. They want to find solutions and via commitment, via field uh, staff, a real dialogue of public policy and this uh, uh, harsh uh, need to fight against uh, uh, inequalities to improve the day-to-day -day lives of everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, and this is how we're going to solve the problems uh, because that is our key objective is to fight against uh, uh, the temptation to be isolated and working together and having a solution based on solution partnership and, of course, innovation. So thank you very much. Thank you, uh, everyone, and have a nice uh, uh, evening.